Hey guys, we got us a no cooling call here. Let's see what's going on. Hmm, what do we have here? All right. The um, customer said that this one condenser fan bearings were screeching. Let's go in and turn it on. Okay, we do have a filter. Looks like it ain't gonna be easy to get it in and out. Check bearings on this. That's the sound of bad bearings. One fifth, eight twenty-five RPM, one point one amps. Let's see what I got. One third to one fifth, eight twenty-five, two point four amps. 
I think that's what I need. And it was. Hmm, what do we have here? So this is not going to line up perfectly, but I don't have extra nuts on this. Good thing I got the ones that came off. is big oversized nuts like that they, they keep the help to keep the motor from falling through
to turn counterclockwise sorry counterclockwise shaft in so clockwise lead in cross them up Lovely. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fantastic. It's got little notches on it that I keep me from. We'll get our ways to go. <laughs> okay, so apparently these two two ends are not the same. This one's curved and this one's flat these need to go towards the flat end so uh, I missed that the first time I didn't notice there was a difference and I got it wrong Remount the motor with the leads facing that way. mounted the right way and try again all right we finally got that on there once I figured out the mistake I made and we're going to hook this up with two capacitors I don't I don't carry duels with 7.5 or at least not many of them I'm putting that on the same wire that that's my run winding in this common goes to my defrost board hmm, I 
didn't work out. Alright, so that goes here on my defrost board. This goes to Alright, I had a capacitor out here. <clears throat> so that goes to my capacitor. You can see that's supposed to be. That's a 50 and 7.5. Which means. Hold on just a second. We gotta test everything. Forty-eight point seven five, seven point five one. Plus ten minus five percent. It's still within range. So yes, in order to help keep things looking good, I am going to use this dual capacitor. We are, let me see, that motor is supposed to pull 2.4. Whew. Contactor looked a little bit rough. Let's tell them about that contactor and see if we can't replace it too. So yes, we're going to do the contactor.
That wire goes to my defrost board for my condenser fan motor. That goes to my capacitor, which is my run winding. That's run winding for the condenser fan motor. Let's see if I have blown a fuse. Yes, I have. Great. And these two wires are for my compressor. Tried not to blow a fuse, but I did anyway. All right, yellow and white's on one side, black's on the other. Now let's go replace a fuse that I just blew. Air handler's on. And it says it's cooling. Let's check outside. We are on and cooling good. I didn't blow a fuse after all. All right, that one's done. We're already on to the next one. Pressure's checked out fine. The old system's doing just fine. It just needed a little TLC. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.